All right, let's do it. Learn watercolor in 30 seconds and let's go. Step one, grab your brushes. Step two, wet your paper. Step three, pick a color and slap it on your watercolor paper. And uh, there you go. You're an expert now in watercolors. So you and I both know that's not how this works, right? I got you with the clickbait, didn't I? You have probably clicked on a video or two with titles like 5 tips that will make your watercolor look beautiful or learn watercolor in 5 minutes. I get it. I was on the same spot when I started with my watercolor journey. I usually click on those 5 tips or learn landscape in 7 minutes and ended up being frustrated because I couldn't get the exact results. And I'll give that it sounds tempting and who doesn't want quick results, right? But here's the truth. Those quick tips aren't going to magically make your painting look beautiful or teach you everything in just 5 or 7 minutes. There is no shortcut to mastering watercolor and I've been this part I'm pretty sure it does take some time. And it is a medium that requires practice, patience and learning to embrace its unpredictability. So if you're still with me, I want to share some insights that have helped me along my watercolor journey. Remember. Every artist improves at their own pace and at different levels. So don't compare yourself to anyone else because I did the exact same thing in the beginning when I was learning to do watercolors. It's all about consistent practice and enjoying the process of painting and watercolors. Here's my very first watercolor painting. It's a rough right? I didn't know much about water control color mixing or layering. I went outside and I just started painting. But it was a start and I learned so much just by getting the painting onto a paper and just being outside and enjoying the process of painting and watercolor. Now check this out. Here is my progress after 6 months. And you can see that I have started to understand layering and blending more. I was practicing consistently almost every day, learning new techniques and I am slowly improving. So fast forward to one year in, look at the difference. I began to feel more confident with my brushstrokes and even my perspective got a little bit better. And still, I have to work on my techniques and learn to blend properly and how to control values and create three dimensional forms. And finally started understanding how to control the water and to get the effects I wanted. At the two year mark, I was able to tackle more complex subjects, adding depth and detail. I could control wherever I wanted softness and where I needed more precision. The improvement was subtle but noticeable. And here is where I am now. Uh, after 3 years later, it has been a long process but every piece taught me something valuable. My current paintings reflect all the practice, experimentation and the consistency and the mistakes I have made along the way. So if you are feeling frustrated or struck, remember. Progress takes time. You won't master watercolor in one night or in five minutes. But with patience and practice, you will start to see small real improvements. But being said that I'm addicted to watercolors. I love uh, the painting process and the challenges it gives me every day and learning from it. First off, don't skip the basics. If you're new to watercolor, Focusing on mastering simple things like blending, color mixing, brush and water control. Those 5 quick tip videos might help you to use fancy techniques or tools but none of that matters if you don't have a solid foundation. If you have a solid foundation when you watch the 5 tips video or 7 minute landscape it will be easier to approach that painting. Ok let's start with the basics. Um, when I start with the watercolors uh, I usually think about trying out advanced techniques but you need to have a solid foundation that means understanding blending and brush control seriously don't skip this part if you're really good at blending and water control you can do any painting in watercolors so here's a great exercise i usually tell my students to practice every day to get good at watercolors is transitioning between two colors start by blending two colors smoothly like this then try doing same with more textures and more values with the same color like this 
you will see how much control you have over the paint just by adjusting your water and brush pressure and blending itself. There's also two techniques which you want to experiment with is wet on wet and wet on dry techniques. Wet on wet gives those soft dreamy effects perfect for backgrounds or loose painting styles whereas wet on dry on the other hand is great for more precise detail and sharper edges. Both of these techniques are essential knowing when to use each one can make a huge difference in your paintings. Play around with it and get really comfortable with it. Once you understand these techniques, you can do any painting you want. And remember, mastering the basics is like that what's going to set up you for the more complex work later on. So no matter what the script of video says, there's no skipping the fundamentals. Get comfortable with your colors and experiment with blending, control your water and your brush. Trust me, these little exercises might feel simple, but they are building blocks of any watercolor piece you're going to create. Here's a big one, water control. Those learn water control 5 minutes or any other watercolor tutorial you watch, this won't dive into this enough the way you handle water. Too much or too little can make or break your painting. Try experimenting with how much water you're using on your brush. I always recommend practicing on a scrap paper first to get the feel of it. Over time, you will develop that instinct for when to add more water or pull back. So whenever I teach my students, they always ask about how much water they have to use on a watercolor paint. If you want a darker value, use less water in your brush. If you want a lighter value, you want to use more water in your brush. And this is a good uh, thumb rule to have. So by using this technique, you can also make your values go darker, higher and up. If you want to learn what values are, check my value master video, which I uploaded two weeks ago, and that will go deeper on what is a value and how to create values. So here's another tip that no quick tutorial will tell you is um, about layering. Watercolor is all about layering. If you want depth in your painting, you have to build it up slowly. And whenever I watch those quick videos or when my students send me the videos, they talk about how to uh, paint something, but they don't show how to layer it. So in order to layer it, you have to start light and slowly add darker layers. And this is where the value I was talking about in the previous chapter is really important. This isn't something you can rush. Watercolor takes time to dry. If you try to push it, you will just end up with a mess. Let each layer dry before going on again. So again, this is where wet on wet and wet on dry uh, comes in place. Trust me, patience is everything here, but everything sits together in layering. Look, I've been there. You're trying to get everything perfect and end up overworking the piece and your watercolor look like a mess. And most of those fighter videos and quick videos won't tell you when to stop. But knowing when to leave a painting alone is a key. Watercolor has a certain raw beauty to it because of its translucency. If you try to correct every little detail, you lose that. It's a balance between control and letting go, which honestly is one of the hardest things to learn. So when in doubt, stop messing with it. And this took me a long time in my journey to understand it. Even nowadays, I try to not overwork it because I'll set a time and I'll work till an hour on this painting, I'll put it aside. And when I look at this painting tomorrow, I'll see like, is there anything I can add to make this look three dimensional? So here's something I wish more people would like to talk about. Watercolor is supposed to be fun. We are not going to master it in a day, a week or even a month. So don't stress about making every watercolor painting perfect. Don't get hung up on this quick fix tips. Just enjoy the process. When I started with my watercolor journey, I always look for these quick fixes and it didn't help my watercolor painting at all. So I created a solid foundation learning the blending values on those wet on wet and wet on dry techniques. It eventually improved my painting. And at the end of the day, it's about being consistent, practice and being patient. Every painting, whether it's a success or a flop, teaches you something. You will have the days where everything goes right and days where it feels like nothing works. And there are some days I don't feel like I don't know how to paint and that's okay. Watercolor is all about embracing the unpredictability 
and the key is consistency and not rushing through and so there you have it watercolor is something you can learn in 30 seconds five minutes or even watching this video it does take some time practice and most importantly patience so the painting i showed in the beginning which i painted in 30 seconds it didn't happen overnight it took me three years to learn the proper techniques and i slowly built up my skill level as well and it's all about layering controlling the water and stopping when the time is right if you find this video helpful leave a comment below and what has been your biggest watercolor struggle maybe i can cover it in a future video until next time keep painting and remember it's not a race it's all about the journey thank you once again for watching this painting tutorial please feel free to share your thoughts in the video in the comment section below if you have any other watercolor related topics you'd like me to cover reach out to me at watercolorimpressions at gmail.com or leave a comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button to become a part of our learning community by subscribing you will receive weekly upload notifications and stay updated on our channel and share with your fellow artists friends and family and uh, good luck with your painting folks